Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So, November. November has come around and it literally feels like there's been parts of the year which have gone really, really fast. But my goodness, it's been a real eventful year. 2019 has had lots of good things, but I would say, unfortunately, there has been a lot of bad things. But, you know, the main thing is that November is great and I'm in a much, much better place towards the latter part of the year. Um, this time of year always makes me think of, especially when, of course, we're jumping right into Christmas. And if you're anything like me and my family, I we all really jump into the preparations of Christmas really early. So I start my Christmas shopping around the first week of October. And then we do that right up until December of buying all lots of gifts in preparations for the house uh, and food and beverages and all of those luxury items you can think of. Um, my home is always very, very busy and I have a family which is Christmas crazy and it's absolutely amazing. It's really, really lovely. Very often it's something which always is the talking point in the latter part of our uh, years. And when we come to the latter part of the year, we try to indulge and really stretch out Christmas as long as possible. It's something which is really, really special and really close to my heart. And it's my favourite time of the year. But of course, always this time of the year, it always gets me thinking, especially when I'm when I'm busy with Christmas shopping and I'm trying to buy those lovely gifts. And I have to admit, I really go above and beyond and I really try to give as much as I can. And I always make Christmas a huge, huge event. Of course, with that comes great expense. But then if you save all throughout the year, little tip there, you can afford to go really quite crazy at Christmas. Now, for me, very often this time of year, it always gets me thinking about the true meaning of Christmas. Now, of course, the true meaning of Christmas will be different for everyone. Of course, whether or not you're religious or not, there will be a huge element around that, um, of course, for the celebration of the birth of Jesus. But however, the true meaning of Christmas, yes, for me, has an element of, of religion in it, absolutely. Uh, but Christmas, of course, for me is a time and it really stands out in my mind and in my family it's a time of coming together and spending the festive season christmas with those you adore cherish and love your family and those closest to us christmas is also a time for showing appreciation for one another thanking one another and the gratitude for everything we have in those around us and by that coming together of giving and receiving gifts of course, if it's a lavish event, fantastic. If not, then always to remember that, yes, it's lovely to have a lavish Christmas, but if you haven't and you have only a small amount, if you're all together and you're safe and you're healthy, then Christmas can be just as special, if not more. Christmas for me is a time where I think of everyone in my family and at times it can almost be quite emotional to think of those who we don't have anymore and thinking back on the times when we did have them. Now, my grandmother has Alzheimer's, but I am very, very close with her. And Christmas is always a time which has always been special for her. And that replicates in our family. I help my grandmother with all her things for Christmas and carry on exactly how she would have. Of course, it's not the same, but I try to mirror whatever she used to do, as in cards for her family, as in if I can. I really, really try to keep everything is how she would want things. Now, in terms of my own sort of family, because of with my parents and my brothers being a really close family, we always celebrate Christmas very lavishly. But however, remembering the true meaning of Christmas is very important. So coming together happy, showing that appreciation, showing that gratitude for everything we have and for one another and those closest to us. And literally enjoying and forgetting all those things which we may have in the back of our mind, but remembering how fortunate we are and how lucky we are and really showing appreciation for that coming together enjoying the festivities and having really great cheer festive cheer which is always quite different there's being happy and then there's being happy at christmas christmas is such a magical time and for me that is the true meaning of christmas coming together showing appreciation with those who you love sharing a time with those closest to us and who we adore and not forgetting to give and to be really, really forgiving. If there's something which is close to you, which is bothering you, let it go. Christmas is a magical time where things happen and there's surprises around every corner. 
in a way, when we creep up into December, I always find there's a lot of magical things happen and things change. Now, even though that may sound like a cliche, good things happen every single day. And Christmas for me is a way of trying to sit back and try to realise that. Once and for all, if you have very little, Christmas can still be just as amazing. For me, of course, I feel very privileged and I'm very grateful to be in a situation where Christmas can be a very huge event. I understand that some people don't celebrate Christmas and that can be for one reason or another. But for me, Christmas is amazing in my most favourite time of the year. Christmas is all about showing goodwill and it's all about kindness and happiness and doing good deeds for me. Of course, for me, as in not doing it for me, but for doing it for everyone else, whether or not you know that person or not within my job, showing kindness and going above and beyond to do a kind deed or a kind gesture. Christmas is the perfect time for that. Very often I always give to charity around Christmas, and that's something which, again, is my chosen choice, but I feel it's a lovely thing to do around Christmas, and, again, fits right into my perfect image of Christmas. For me, of course, as well, coming from a family who celebrates Christmas hugely, having the home decorated up, absolutely amazing. For us, it takes normally around two weeks to put all our decorations up in the home and to dress the house in exactly the way we want it for Christmas. Our preparations run literally from October right the way through to December, and we hold on to Christmas for as long as we can. I find it nothing better than everybody coming together at Christmas, sharing gifts, sharing gratitude, being thankful for what we have and for those around us, and having that really lovely special time, and forgetting all of our worries and troubles. But to raise a glass and to say Happy Christmas is probably one of the most amazing gifts of life with everyone around you. And I always think of Christmas being a gift in itself because we are all fortunate to be together at Christmas, if we can be. And again, I always have this statement, which is slightly morbid, but I stand quite true by it. None of us are promised a tomorrow, so we must all show appreciation for the things we have, especially at Christmas, and spare a thought for those people who aren't necessarily in a privileged or in a well-off situation. And of course, if you can do something to turn that round, even if it's just the smallest of deed, then go ahead. I know often I try to, and whether or not that's just the smallest gesture of seeing somebody in a street and literally giving them a little something, or even literally stopping and passing conversation to somebody who you may never have even thought to have talked to before. Perhaps possibly you pass somebody in your job and you come across and you see that somebody's unhappy. Ask them a question. Believe you me, just the smallest of deed can make such a difference, especially around Christmas. So that's all for me, my true meaning of Christmas. And after all, Christmas is different for all of us, but it's a time we all should be privileged for what we have and not to desire things over the top, but to enjoy what we have and to love and cherish and to share happiness with those around us and who mean the most to us. And of course, that can be friends, family, dear to us, and maybe you don't see them for a long time in between. But Christmas has magical ways. One of my favourite films, there's a saying in it where miracles happen every day. And I am a fond believer of that and think it's absolutely incredible. So, as we're in November and those thoughts start coming to us while we're rushing around and trying to pick up the amazing gifts for that special someone, I always like to try and spare a thought for what Christmas really means. It's not what you can, how many gifts you can buy somebody. It's not how we look at Christmas. It's not having the most top rated gifts or the most expensive gift to, to open. It's about the smaller things as well. And of course, those smaller things make the biggest thing of all. Having a really happy, safe and healthy Christmas with those who mean the most to us and who we love and cherish and adore. So as we lean up into the festive season, my channel will be coming across a whole host of things which will be funny, possibly emotional. And let's put it this way, I intend to have an amazing Christmas and a leading up season to it as well. So as we're in November, let's have a really amazing and safe build up to the season. And I wish you all a very, very happy November and hopefully together we will all have a very amazing festive season. Until next time, we will see you then. Thanks very much for being here with my channel. It means the world to me and thank you very much for watching. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye.